The Empire graciously welcomes you to Vos Orbital. Ambassador Yoran deeply regrets that he was unable to greet you personally. I've been instructed to emphasize the delicate situation you're walking into before you head for the surface. The Ambassador is concerned that your business could jeopardize the Empire's interests on Vos. Whatever problems you've got here, I'm sure I can take care of them for the right price. You don't understand. Every single thing you... we do here is scrutinized and used as leverage in negotiations. The Vos are stubbornly isolationist and abundantly aware of their own value to the Republic and the Empire. It is vital that the Empire fosters goodwill. You must remain on your best behavior. I'll conduct myself accordingly. It's the nature of your profession that has the Ambassador concerned. The Vos abhor discord and don't tolerate violence within their territory. You'll mix peacefully with the enemy here. The Vos revere their mystics. Deal carefully with them, or, or preferably not at all. Also, outsiders are barred from Voskar proper. Don't pick fights. Be polite. Stay out of Vaska. Understood? I will let Ambassador Yoran know to expect you. Head to his office once you've landed. Have a safe visit. Empire stepping lightly. Smells like trouble. Imperials only smile when they're up to something. Or when they're nervous. You came promptly. Thank the stars. The less time you spend mixing with the locals, the better. I trust my aide was quite explicit in informing you of the need for discretion here. I'm always a professional. I have my doubts. Your reputation precedes you. That said, I look forward to being rid of General Redrish. That woman will be the death of me, if you aren't. I was told I'd be dealing with a Kawadi noble, not a Republic general. They are one and the same. General Thelonia Redrish is a well-respected member of Kawati aristocracy, a philanthropist, and a revolutionary. The Empire has lost a number of newly conquered worlds due to her interference, and we may well lose this one unless she's removed. Unfortunately, we're going to have to take the roundabout course, push her into the open. Any persons or interests she'd have a personal stake in protecting? Imperial intelligence suspects that she's behind the guerrilla attacks on our forces here, but we can't prove it. I believe your best course of action would be to root out General Redrish's officers in the field and gather evidence of her involvement. You're telling me I can't touch her, but I can shoot up her officers? You can't touch her here. Out in the wilderness, away from prying eyes, Anything could happen. I'm afraid casualty reports are all we have to go on. You'll have to search around the ambush points for signs of the enemy. Take this hollow recorder. If you make any discoveries, transmit the evidence to my frequency. I'll check back in when I got something. Perimeter, report. Perimeter, those charges, Prime Sergeant. Perimeter's on radio silence. Permanently. Stars, that was fast. No time! Hit him with everything we've got! Find something? This look rigged to blow to you? And this was to cover tracks, not kill. Let's see who you've been talking to. Compromised. Full retreat. Operation came in underway. Final transmission. Carrier one out. Carrier one to Peregrine. The garrison at Fort Cadenth appears to be sending out patrols of Imperial troops. Lights recalled and circling. What's the situation, General? Please advise. Peregrine has to be General Redrish. Carrier one, expect more. Yorin's convinced the Voss to allow Imperial troops to bolster Voska's defenses against the Gormak. Monitor their patrols. If they stray too far, show the Voss how ill-prepared Imperials are for Gormak attacks. Peregrine out. Got her. I've got something for you. Transmitting now. Now? What have we here? Oh, this is better than I could have hoped. I might even convince the Voss to hand her over for trial with this. Pull that off and I might kiss you. Let's try to not get carried away. 
I'll handle things from here. Return to my office and lay low until I return. And to have you return? Oh, never mind. It doesn't matter. Whatever you're doing, stop. I need you here immediately. And I need you to take a deep breath. So let's start there. I have every reason to be in hysterics. General Redwish has something up her sleeve, and whatever it is involves you. The Voss have agreed to hear the accusations I've made against General Redrish, but they've also agreed to her request to face her accuser. She named you specifically to be called to account and submit to questioning. I've got nothing to hide. She'll likely make a spectacle of you, but we don't have much choice. This is the Assembly Hall's location. Hurry, I don't want the Voss to think we're stalling. I apologize that the Empire has decided to waste your time today. You won't smooth things over with a smile this time. The evidence of your guilt is as plain as day. Your hollow recordings? I was really expecting you to have fabricated something a little more tangible, Ambassador. And your only witness is a known terrorist. You people set all that up to make me look bad. Sounds familiar. You're a Mandalorian. Your people have made unprovoked acts of war against the Republic and conducted genocides against entire species. Do you deny it? Mandalorians fight to better themselves. You should be flattered we even consider you a worthy opponent. We'd certainly rather you consider not being our opponent at all. Tell us, how do you acquire this evidence of yours? Your subordinates provided everything I needed. That's... preposterous. This is exactly why I asked to face my accuser. The Empire expects you to take the word of a hired killer instead of a respected official who's proven her commitment to the Voss people time and again. You will remember it is I who agreed to make the pilgrimage to the Shrine of Healing to show my solidarity with the Voss. An idle promise. <laughs> my associate can just as easily agree to make this pilgrimage. Then take the trials, outsiders. That will reveal true character. We have concluded. You have shown us much. Safe journeys. It appears I've been spared. My soldiers' deaths were not in vain. I've spent months preparing for the trials. They're going to kill you. Ambassador? That went about as I expected. As to this trials business, I had to show the Voss we are willing to do anything the Republic will do. You understand? Have you thought this through, or were you just blowing hot air? These trials are obviously deadly. If General Redrish were not to return from her pilgrimage, it would hardly be unexpected. I'll keep on her trail until an opportunity presents itself. Fadith Kai is an influential figure at the Pilgrim Camp, and is not hostile to us. See if he has any insight on getting you into this Shrine of Healing. Outsider, my master saw your coming. He awaits in the Cloister of Meditation. There's someone else I need to find. Another outsider, a woman. Seen her? My master knows of whom you speak. You will see him. Yeah, I'll see him. The cloister of meditation is near, but secluded. Follow the silence. We aren't alone. Pilgrims are so few now, and outsiders. I'm looking for another pilgrim. Your messenger said you'd know who I mean. The visionary without visions. I spoke with her. Change has come to Voss. Voss must come to change. The outsider woman you seek will be the agent of that change. Do you know where I can find her or not? She told me you would follow, and your intentions. Stay in peace, and leave in time. No harm will come, unless you resist. You break your neutrality, you regret it. We are prepared for force. Restrain him. My gift is not foresight. But I see your fate is not for us to decide. I'm a force of nature. The only smart thing to do is to stay out of my way. We cannot stop what must come to pass. 
the human woman, has gone. She has left for Gomakos. Our hope goes with her. Why stick your neck out for a stranger? There are no words between Avos and Gormak, only violence. The outsider woman carries an offer of peace. Commanders stand vigil over Gormakos. Their commander may witness the outsider's passing. If word of this scuffle gets out, I'll be paying you another visit. The fault was ours. Go in peace. Outsider, rest, take shelter, return home. Only Gormak territory lays beyond. I'm looking for a woman, another outsider. She was headed for Gormakos. She has found it. An outsider woman fell victim to Gormak attack. The Gormak attacked. She surrendered. She wasn't looking for a fight. Normally, the enemy knows only murder. The woman was taken towards the Gormak beast pens. Her fate is sealed. Show me where they took her. I will point out the place. Be cautious. Thought I heard commotion. Kimaki ovadye tochong. Amin swan trombobos. Say, did it go on me go on, boss? Don't most of them in Kyoto Woka. And now, so they fight God for the lion soon, Mata. Step up and try it. See what happens. Vlad Pan Van Dow, that rat vi ban laogron. Puavaska, ban ki na kung ham trong wang lao, the chow trong cha. Fe To be fair, you were the ones who shot first. Then We've got common interests. We should work together. Puavaska, Bam King Hungham Trong Wang Lao, the Chao Trucksha. Who I wish say, Hadram, La no we can one big country. I'll show you the ropes if it gets me out without trouble. Waming Guam, Bam Ji Wan Guamak. Got the hang of this pretty quickly. Shame I can't stick around. Then for Vutagan Ahnan Chok Tontri, Vebegor Nesafun. Nice drills. You're a natural. No one agrosai. I'll try not to lose my head. Huavaska, Bam ki ngungham trong wang lao, the chao trok sha. I expected we'd cross paths again. 
but not here. You've got nothing left to hide behind, General. I'm so close to getting these people on speaking terms, and you're about to throw it all away. For what, money? Tell me you're not that petty. You're between me and a man spouting lies. Nothing personal. I think that's a small sacrifice for peace. Nothing personal. Show him what you're made of! Wait! Cease fire! This is a losing battle. If you're giving up, get on with it. You've done all you can. This is my fight to lose. This is a pivotal moment in this planet's history. I won't let our squabbles get in the way. If you'll allow these Gormak to return home, I'll lay down my weapon. I've already got you dead to rights. It's a small concession. They've done enough dying for others' sake. Jedi and Sith waged war here centuries ago, both manipulating these people into fighting their battles for them. It's all painted here on these walls. Now, we've come full circle. These people deserve better than to be exploited by galactic politics. Give them a fighting chance. Couldn't care less about the Gormak. Second chance. Don't waste it. Thank you. Go. Others need to know what we found here. Do what you came to do. I don't need your permission. That conviction. Have to respect that. We're done here. I've captured General Redrish. You're back! Oh, I hadn't heard one word since you left the trials. I thought you'd got the best of you. I suppose no news is good news in this case. If you'd raised any suspicion capturing her, I'd have heard about it. Whatever General Redrish's plans were, it seems we've avoided the fallout. Chasing her was like running through a minefield. Debating her wasn't much different, but arguably less deadly. This is the most relieved I've felt in months. I might even actually sleep tonight. Take this with my gratitude. It'll complement the sum of credits Darth Tormund sent quite nicely. Your gratitude is appreciated, Ambassador. I'll send word of your success to Darth Tormund promptly. Farewell. My subordinates tell me that you've dealt with the privateer and the Kowati woman. There's nothing keeping the plan from moving forward. Good. The campaign on Raban is coming to a close. I will direct my forces towards a full-scale assault on Corellia. Rendezvous with my flagship, the Tyrant, in Raban's outsystem. I am Captain Evelyn, commanding officer of the Tyrant. You are Darth Tormund's bounty hunter? I don't answer to Tormund, or you. Then consider this an urgent request. Republic Special Forces slipped on board during our troop withdrawal. They've completely overrun the command decks. It won't be long before we lose the bridge. If you act quickly, we might be able to turn things around. Darth Tormund can't handle this himself. He went to deal with the attackers personally, but his soldiers are sealed off from the bulk of the fighting. The board has initiated a complete lockdown, trapping our defenders and the subdecks. I need you to undo their tampering. With their overrides disabled, we can unseal the lock decks from the bridge, so Darth Tormund and his soldiers can retake control. I won't let you down. If I didn't believe that, I wouldn't have asked. I'm transmitting the location of the ship's network junctions. Restore the systems and we can handle the rest. I've opened the docking bays and disabled our weapons. You can make a safe landing if you hurry. The window of opportunity is... Now or never. If we're going to land, we better do it before the boarders get the turbo lasers back online. We're in for a rough landing. Business as usual, then? <sighs> Figures I'd have a big lunch. You must be the bounty hunter Captain Evelyn contacted. Thanks for the rescue. Once they killed the captain, we thought the fight was as good as done. I've had way tougher jobs. We aren't out of the fire yet. We need a few minutes to override the lockdown, but we're finished if we have to hold off another attack. Will you assist in defending the bridge? Anyone stepping through that door gets blasted back out. 
Get those lower decks unsealed, ASAP. My lord, it's a relief to see you unscathed. Where is Captain Evelyn? I... he... The, the captain's dead, sir. My lord. And yet you avoided his fate. Yes, I, I mean, no. We were sur... Ouch. I have you to thank for a ship. Yeah, you're welcome. Have this ship operational by the time we are finished. I am mobilizing my entire division to Corellia. Their rebellion will be crushed. Corellia will fall, but military victory will not be enough. I do not want the Republic merely defeated. They must submit. A win's a win. We will not make martyrs. The people will see their heroes broken and the Republic fail them. There is a massive resistance supporting the Republic's defense of Corellia. You will secure the rebel leaders. I will make them kneel. When the rebellion bows before Corellia's rightful leaders, our trap will be set. What happens once this trap is sprung? A compact will be signed publicly. Corellia's governor will demand that the Supreme Chancellor ratify the treaty and withdraw Republic forces. The Supreme Chancellor will have to acknowledge that the Corellians have chosen Imperial rule. But not before June Saros convinces him that his Jedi can turn the tide. Zero shows his face. I'll blow it off. When do we start? Immediately. I have sent my forces ahead, under command of General Krau. Meet with him and proceed according to plan. When the Tyrant is hyperspace capable, I will join you.